Hello, welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. So in the previous video, we have seen how to create the aim offsets for character. So now in this video, we're going to see how to create the animation states like crouch, weapon state and normal idle walk and state. So previously we have created the animation state for idle walk and run. So if you open animation blueprint and if you see here, we have created the animation state for idle walk run and also for the aim. But what the thing is here in this idle walk run, we have used the rifle animation. So instead what we'll do is we will create a separate animation state for idle walk run without any rifle animations. So literally we can switch between the weapon state and also the crouch state. So what I will do is whatever the state I have created, I will rename it as like weapon state so that in this uh, we have used a blend space which contains the rifle animations. So we'll create another blend space uh, with a normal idle walk animations. So we'll see that. And also we will name this blend space as survival, let's say weapon state. So we'll create the normal uh, idle walk animations. So for that, uh, what I will do is I will, I will download some of the animations from the Mixamo and we will directly create the blend space. So we'll go to the Mixamo. So here uh, in the previous, if you see previously, we have downloaded some of the animations like aim animations and uh, shooting animations. So now uh, what we'll do is we'll create, we will download some idle walk run animations. So if you search idle, let's say uh, if you want to create this normal idle animation, like breathing animation. So this is the thing. So just we'll download, uh, we will without skin and we will download some walk animations without rifle yeah this is a walk animation so make sure you have to click on this in place and now download and also run animations let's say we will use this uh, run animations and also in place download and also we will download some crouch animation idle crouch let's say we will download this crouch idle animation and also crouch walk let's say this one so this is also in place download so we have downloaded the animations here so we will import into unreal engine so like we have to select the skeleton like mixamo depots and click on import So we have downloaded these animations. Now this is the walk animations and the rest of the animations are this. So now what we need to do is we need to retarget this animation to our survival character. So, so just right click retarget animations. Uh, we need to select the survival select. So we'll select this and export animations. So let's say we'll go to survival character animations. Uh, just we'll create normal new folder and click on yeah. so we got this animation so this is a idle and this is crouch and these are running animations here so while using this state we will uh, remove this uh, weapon so this is a walking here so now we'll create the separate blend space for this uh, idle run and walking here so what we'll do is we'll go to this uh, blend space now we'll create a new blend space right click animation blend space and this one like survival so blend space underscore idle walk okay so in this double click so we'll search for idle first and here we can give the name to speed and max walk speed we can give up to like 400 depends literally we can change so we'll go with the idle so breathing idle so drag this and just enable the snap and also walk so we'll search for walk so this is a walking so this is a walking and now run so this is a running so this is a running action so what we'll do is we will make this as a default state and literally we will uh, switch between the crouch and anim uh, weapon state so uh, in order to make this as a default uh, what we'll do is we'll go to the animation blueprint now instead of this weapon state so in the entry 
so we'll just disconnect this so we'll add a new state which is like idle walk and run so in this what we'll do is just we will uh, drag this blend space which we have created and the speed will connect to this thing here so now we'll see this alt p now we got this normal uh, breathe animations and normal walk and run animations literally in the blueprints we will remove this weapon here so now we got this now what the thing is we need to create the animation state for the crouch as well so first i will create the blend space so right click again animation blend space survival so blend space underscore crouch so here we have only two animations one is like a uh, idle and crouch walk and we will keep the speed to like 100 or 150 uh, depends so let's say we will name it as speed as well so crouch so this is a crouch idle so we will snap to grid and also crouch walking so now this is a crouch and this is a crouch walking here uh, now uh, we have to create the animation states here so let's go to locomotion so now what the thing is we need to connect this idle walk run to the weapon state here so what we'll do is just we will go to this state and again come back to this state here so already we have this uh, animations blend space animation so we need to write a code and also we need to create another state which is crouch like first add state and now crouch so in this we need to add the blend space which we have created and this is like speed okay so uh, from crouch to idle this is okay so now we need to write a code so now you can see here we can go into this transition state so what we'll do is we'll create a variable like has weapon in this so now just will connect this and also in this as weapon and this is like not not boolean so we have created a condition for this thing so we will uh, execute this by using the blueprints and literally in the crouch as well so variable is crouching open this here we need to drag this and literally we will go to this not boolean so it's not crouching so we will compile this open yeah everything is compiled so here we wrote a condition like uh, if it is in the crouch state then we have to switch to this state here or else if you know if you're not in crouch state then we need to go back to idle walking so we need to write a code for this thing uh, so we need to create the same variables in the character blueprint as well so just we'll go to character blueprint so here we will create a is crouching and also as weapon okay yeah we have created these two things so now we will go back to animation blueprint and we'll go to this event graph yeah event graph so already we have casted so what we'll do is we'll drag is crouching so is crouching sorry not set uh, we need to get this thing so get crouching and here this crouching need to be set so click on this so what we are doing basically we are getting the crouch uh, variable from the character and just we are setting it to the variable which we are created in the animation blueprint so we will get this variable uh, in the code so we need to create an input for the crouching as well so we will go to input section right click input input action ia underscore crouch and just we'll go to default actions and we will create a 
mappings crouch and we will give the keyboard to like left control so for time being we'll use the left control in some games we can use a c or something so let it be like left control now we need to uh, add action input for the crouch so ia underscore crouch so here let's say we will use this trigger so when you hold left control it will be in the crouch and if you release then it will go back to the normal state so what we'll do is in the trigger we will add like set this crouch set and in the completed we will set it to normal so this is a code basically in the character blueprint so what we are doing is whenever we click on this crouch button it is going to set so here the condition comes means it will meet the condition here so directly it will go back to the uh, go to the crouching state here so now if you see alt p and now if you hold left control now it's going to the crouch state and if you move now it he is walking and if you release again it is going back to the normal walking state here and now same for the weapon state now if you want to go into the weapon state so now we are in the idle walk run now if you want to go into the weapon state so we will uh, assign one of the key same like a same like a button which we have applied for the crouch so for that what we'll do is just uh, same we'll get an another variable from this as weapon yeah as weapon get and now here we will make this set so basically what we'll do is just uh, we will create another input for the weapon state so right click action input ia underscore weapon state so basically we will use like uh, one one button so we'll go back to this action sorry default and here we will create another mapping and here ia underscore weapon and just we will assign one yes so we'll go back to the blueprint here ia underscore weapon state so here we will use a flip flop uh, so whenever we start whenever we click it has to go to like normal weapon state again when we click it has to go to normal idle state so for that what we'll do is just we will use a flip flop node flip flop node so starting uh, it will be set to this and again this will set back to this thing here okay yep yes so now if you see alt p now if i press one now he is going to the weapon state he is walking running and we can able to aim and when we are in normal state yeah and see when we are in the normal state the aim button should not work actually so when we are in the weapon state then only the aim button has to work and also now when we are in the idle walk state uh, we don't want to see the weapon as well so what we'll do is so defaultly uh, we will turn off this weapon so like it will set back to visibility to none so now alt p now there is no weapon and when we press one then only the weapon has to enable so what we'll do is just simple code so we need to bring this thing so here we need to set visibility to new set visibility it will be new set visibility and again if you go back the visibility same so we need to copy and paste set this thing and this will not be visibility yes so simple now if you press one now we got the weapon we can aim and if you go back to normal then the weapon will be hided so as i said when we are in the idle walk state we will we should not be able to 
or like aim so what we'll do is just we will write a condition same uh, this is a aim animation so we need to write a condition for this thing so here uh, we can use this variable which we have created has weapon so just we'll create a branch for this thing and just has weapon and if true then it will go back to this thing here so it's a simple condition so when we are in the weapon state then only the aim button will work or else it will not work so already we have uh, set this variable in this weapon state when we click on this uh, weapon state it will be activated so it will meet the conditions then only the aim will work here so, so simple now if you alt p now see if i right click there is no aim when we go back to weapon set then only we can able to aim so this is the conditions which we have written so now it's working fine and one thing is uh, when we are aiming the character is able to run but we don't want that so we need to disable that option uh, the running option while aiming so what we'll do is uh, when we go to this thing and here we have a condition like is aiming set here so what we'll do is uh, we will go to the sprint so here is aiming we need to get this thing so we'll write a condition like branch be left click so in this case we need to connect it from the false so what the thing is while aiming then it should not work here okay so now if i alt p now while aiming now if i press shift it's nothing now if i release the aim and if you run we can able to run so this is a simple conditions uh, we will use by using the booleans so in the next video we will see the functionality for shooting so next we will add the line tracing by channel so to apply the damage when we shoot and also we will add the particle effects and the muzzle flash so see you in the next video